Hello Leo and welcome to my channel Tarot by Gabrielle. This is going to be a reading for the end of December 2022, kind of moving into the new year, looking at your recent past, your current energy, and your immediate future. As you can see, I've gone ahead and pulled Oracle cards and clarified those. We'll jump right in. Um, I have a tarot deck that we'll go through for each of the messages, and then I have a clarifying deck that I will use in my extended. If you are new to my channel, it might seem a little silly that I'm already doing extended readings um, since I just started my channel a few weeks ago, but I did used to have a tarot channel in the past, so I am in a phase of rebuilding. Um, so any information on that and on personal readings is in the description box below. All right. In your recent past, you have hold your vision with the nine of cups in reverse. Um, working through a lot of negativity in your recent past, Leo, a lot of negativity, like just an overall general negative mindset, not that you are a negative person or anything like that, probably dealing with triggers and things of that sort. So we'll get information on that, but with hold your vision, it looks like what you want or what your, the outcome, the general outcome is possible for you. But the path to get there might be a little different than you're expecting. You have nothing will come of the situation with the King of Swords in reverse. So the way that I'm reading this is there's a lot of overthinking involved and nothing is going to come of your overthinking. Like that's, that's essential, essentially what I see here. I don't know. Or you're dwelling on a situation that doesn't have an outcome. Like, like there won't be an outcome you want, but we'll see. We'll see. Don't. Don't hate me yet. In your immediate future, you have bring love into the situation with the six of, of coins. So the six of coins being this card has come up a lot recently in like all of my readings. And to me, this is a card of reciprocation, getting back what you give. Um, but right now I feel like there's a level of like living life in your head instead of a balance between your head and your heart. You know, aligning with love, aligning with the divine, being more in tune with yourself. That's where I feel like there's something missing. But let's see. Let's even see if that's the case. Okay. Recent past for Leo. Clarifying. Hold your vision. Let's see what the situation was. What is the situation in your recent past? What was the situation in Leo's recent past? What was the situation in Leo's recent past? Queen of Swords in reverse with the Judgment in reverse and the Hangman in reverse. Okay. This is something about like, like it's almost like you shut, something made you kind of shut yourself off from the world here, Leo. The Queen of Swords in reverse, there's definitely a level of like, like coldness to this reading, to this energy. And with the judgment in reverse, it was because you weren't seeing the truth of something. You weren't seeing the reason why something had to happen. And the universe was asking you to surrender and trust. But I feel like it was really hard because whatever the situation was, was like, it's pretty like detrimental to you. It felt, it felt very detrimental. It felt like it was like a, something that felt like the world was ending, but we didn't realize was, was actually happening for your benefit. But because the outcome, the whole, the vision you have, that's where what the universe is focusing on. The universe is focusing on bring, bringing you the overall picture of what you want. You might have been focusing on one specific situation. So in your recent past, there was a lot of working through that. And recent past can be anything of between, you know, last year, last month, last week to you know, three or five years ago. It, it, take this as a resonance. But there was something like the judgment in reverse, something you weren't seeing the truth of. You weren't seeing the reason for it. Like it felt maybe like like something terrible was happening, but it was actually leading into something better. Like that's the general vibe I'm getting. Oh. One second. I hate when this happens in my readings because this chair is so high and the floor is so far away. Okay. Temperance in reverse with the Five of Pentacles. So that's exactly what this is saying. Just because things weren't happening for you yet, you started believing that there was a loss involved. Now, there could have been a loss associated and a loss you needed to process and heal from. But in terms of like, you know, what's meant for you will never pass you. Like there was not actually a loss. You didn't actually lose anything at all. 
but like you couldn't see that yet because so much of your time and energy was focused on one specific thing. And so when that thing went away, it was really hard to believe that something better was going to take its place. But that's the biggest lesson we learn, right? There's always losses and always gains. Every loss leads to a gain. Every gain leads to a loss. It's the up and down of life. Now, that doesn't mean that things are always bad, right? It just means that every high comes with a low. Every low comes with a high. I hope that wasn't annoying. Um, but the, it's, it's, it's a lack of patience. Now, not that you are not a patient person, just uh, patience is hard. And having patience and faith in the universe is even harder because we are so kept, we are kept in the dark, right? We don't really know what's happening until we can look back and say, oh, that's why it had happened. So your recent past was a lot of working through negativity surrounding a specific loss of some sort, a loss that you felt was detrimental. That's the biggest thing I'm, I'm seeing here. Okay, recent past for Leo. There's the Seven of Cups. In reverse, there was a decision that you had to make. You There's a risk you had to take. A decision, a risk of some sort. In the Knight of Wands with the Seven of Cups in reverse. Or maybe you took a risk on something and it didn't pan out. Maybe that's what it was. And maybe that's why it felt like such a detrimental loss because it felt like well, why would I ever take a risk like that again? But I feel like what you did was the right thing. Whatever risk you took was the right thing. Because, yeah, it was like you you made a decision to take a risk, and then I feel like it didn't turn out. I kind of want to get – it's kind of cheating the other readings, but I'm going to do it. Can I get clarification on the Seven of Cups, please? Clarification on this Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups in reverse. Clarification on the Seven of Cups in reverse. Here's the Four of Wands in reverse. Okay, hang on. What you don't realize is whatever decision you made in the past was part of a slow move towards what it is that you're actually wanting. So if you took a risk or if you a leap of faith or invested in just like, like whatever the case is, however that's resonating, and you ended up with a loss, that was a necessary stepping stone to this page of pentacles, but it's something you weren't quite ready for at the time. So it don't think that you lost anything because you didn't. What happened was necessary to lead you to what you do want, what you ultimately want. And I feel like it's something that the universe, it's like, it's like a surprise. Like that you don't realize that it's better than what you're thinking because yeah this king of wands in reverse this is like a like a self-doubt this is you showing up like with this self-doubt this doubt and your ability to actually have or pursue what it is that you're passionate about like always feeling like you have to settle maybe and i feel like that's because maybe you took a risk you didn't settle that didn't work out and now you believe like it kind of affirmed your belief system of having to settle but that was all to help you heal your belief system of believing you have to settle it's really backwards how the universe does that right all right, let's get clarity on your current energy. Nothing will come of this situation with the King of Swords in reverse. Current energy for Leo. There's the Eight of Cups. There's a need to walk away from something. Because things aren't going to move forward unless you walk away from something. And this walking away from this thing is very out of your comfort zone. The three of wands, it's like stepping into the unknown. Because, yeah, there's the six of pentacles in reverse. You have the six of pentacles upright. So whatever you're currently investing in or were investing in in your past, it needed to be walked away from. Because you were investing in it from like your... It's like over-intellectualizing your emotions. That's a whole different kind of thing, but I feel it. Like that's what, it, like this King of Swords, are like over-intellectualizing how you feel. Not coming from your heart. Not coming from a place of love. Coming from a place of logic. 
And that's, that's not always a good thing. There needed to be a balance between your head and your heart. Current energy for Leo. Current energy for Leo. So this is about walking away from what isn't working. If something isn't, if you have not received reciprocal energy from something that you're investing in, then it's time to let it go. That's the overall message here. Ooh, interesting. Maybe this was something you already did walk away from. Because then you have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Three of Swords in reverse. So whatever you walked away from, it led to a, a lot of instability materially for you. So you felt like you didn't have a stable home or a stable career path or a stable relationship. Like It, it affected the overall feeling of stability in your life. And you hold a lot of resentment for that. You hold resentment for that. And that could be resentment towards yourself. But I don't know. It could also be towards an air sign. Because you have the king and queen of swords. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I mean, you also have the queen of pinnacles in reverse. So you know, take it as it resonates. But I just feel like there's this level of like holding on to the past. And that's what I feel like this is holding on to the past even though nothing will come of the past but the thing is you don't even I don't even think you want the past anymore Leo I think that you're just you just still feel attached to it and you want to move forward but there's a level of healing that needs to be done like walking away from it for good like letting it go for good just being done with it for good almost like choosing like having to make the choice to be like done but like for good. <laughs> I feel like you've been there, were, there may, with the situation might have been a lot of like, oh, I'm done. I'm done with this. But like meaning it. Because I feel like you know nothing will come of this. But there's also a level of forgiveness that's needed here. You know, forgiveness is a difficult thing to do. But the thing is, is with the higher thing here, there's a lot that you've learned from the situation that you either will learn, have learned, or are currently learning from the situation. Because I feel like this situation, because remember, this had to happen. This had to happen. So this had to happen to get you to a place to be able to manifest what you want in the future. Okay, current energy for Leo. So there's forgiveness needed, some, some healing. I'm no therapist, but I do do have quite a bit of quite a bit of um, experience in the world of forgiveness. Forgiveness letters; those are a big thing. Writing a letter, of forgiveness from the person that you're trying to forgive to you, as if they're forgiving you. Writing a letter to them, burning it, always burn it. There's the Knight of Wands in reverse. This is, again, it's like a need to take a risk of some sort. It's like you need to take a risk again. And maybe that's like opening you up to yourself up to someone new, something new. But you've had your heart broken in the past, and so you're afraid to do that. I get it. And so you're overthinking it. You're overthinking this. And it's like with the nothing will come of this. It's like whatever you're fearing, whatever you're overthinking, that's not going to happen. So don't fear your past repeating itself because it's, that's not, that's not, because you learned, right? You learned what you needed to learn. You're currently learning what you needed to learn, what you need to learn by, by the healing that you're going through. So anything new that comes up is actually, it's like, it's actually aligned with you, but it's hard for you to invest in right now because you're coming from that closed off place that I was talking about. Um, okay, Let's see, immediate future for Leo. Okay, immediate future for Leo. So bring love into the situation with Six of Pentacles. It's almost like opening your heart again, opening your heart to the world after a pretty major loss. You're in a healing stage now. And it's kind of like the universe is saying, get out of your head. Because you did have that Queen of Pentacles in reverse again. So there is a lot of being closed off. There's that Page of Pentacles. The 
keep a tower. There's an opportunity here for you, because remember that page of pentacles appeared back here. It's an opportunity for what you want, the opportunity for this reciprocation, but it's hiding behind a tower. A tower moment. There's a tower moment that's needed, but it's a good tower moment. It's a good one. It's not a it's not a bad one. It doesn't it won't feel bad. It'll feel like freeing. Wheel of Fortune positive. Wheel of Fortune upright. It will feel good. It will feel... Clarification on this tower. Why am I getting... I'm getting I'm a Leo, so I'm getting all into this reading. Although, most of my readings don't really resonate with me. So, this one isn't any different, but I'm just curious for you guys. Alright, tower. Clarifying the tower in Leo's immediate future. Clarifying the tower in Leo's immediate future. What is this tower? Clarifying the tower. There's the Hierophant. It's like this onset of wisdom. Because there's the Hierophant with the Ace of Swords and the Hermit. And then this is about the magician. This is about what you're trying to manifest. So there's like this, it's like this, like this tower is like, because the, the tower is the falling away of old, right? To, to prepare for new. So it's like falling away of old ways of thinking. Some sort of breakthrough here. This is why it's going to feel good and freeing is because it, then you have the hermit, the four of pentacles, the artist, king of swords upright. This is, yeah, it's like a freeing energy. The moon card in reverse, the release of fear. This is like, like a realization of some sort. This like onset of wisdom that allows you to be, to free yourself from your past. Okay, I like it. I like it a lot. Let's get one more for Leo's immediate future. What's the outcome? Let's see if we can have an outcome here. What's the outcome? Ten of Pentacles. King of Wands. Ten of Pentacles, King of Wands. Long term stability. So remember, we had the King of Wands in reverse, it's like doubting, right? Doubting in your ability to pursue what you're truly passionate about. But in your immediate future, this is you showing up upright with the Ten of Pentacles. The, the outcome is the Ten of Pentacles. And I feel like you don't realize it, but you're creating this Ten of Pentacles by healing from this. That's really cool. That's a really cool reading. Okay, we're going to get more information on this in the extended. My extendeds are set up to be a... Um, pay what you can slash want kind of ordeal. So the link to that is in the description box. If you have any questions on a personal reading, um, email address is in the description box below. Otherwise, thank you so much for your support of my channel, and I hope to see you again in the future. Bye, Leo.